Welcome to Japanese Easy Study Channel. Today we are going to learn about the grammar in Japanese language. Japanese language proficiency test. Or we say in Japanese language, Nihongo no Rikushiken Chukyu. This video clip is uh, suitable for anyone who learning Japanese from the beginning, from the beginning to the end. The media level. So if you are uh, hmm, learning Japanese language from the intermediate to uh, the beginner level, you shouldn't miss this video. So let's go to learn together. The grammar that we are going to talk about today, we will learn about the grammar of si de ni. Zideni is meaning that why is then tori or at the same time on the way dot dot something. In Japanese, when you learn or you use the gamma of zideni, you can use with the verb in the dictionary form and the verb in the past tense form or ta form. And the last one you can use with the noun. But after the noun, you should put no and then followed by zi de ni. So what you have to remember is you can use with the verb and noun only. But in the case of using with the verb, you should you can use with the verb in the dictionary form and the verb in the past tense form or the ta form are you seeing here and it has the meaning that why or is then tori at the same time on the way so let's go to see some example together the first example here they say kaimono no tsuide ni which means that I stopped by a book store while shopping. I stopped by a book store while shopping. So let's go to uh, consider about the grammar in here. How do they use? You see here, we see that they use the noun. Are you seeing here? In now, our noun in here is kaimono. And the uh, kaimono is meaning that shopping. So when you use the noun with zeleni, you should put no between the now and the zi de ni are you seeing here so in this grammar we put no between the kaimono and zi de ni so we can say kaimono no zi de ni which means uh, why you are shopping right why you are shopping or at the time you are shopping hong ya ni yorimashita which means that you stop to the uh, bookstore. So when we translate to the full sentence, we can say, I stop by a bookstore while shopping. That means you go to shopping, but at the same time, you also go to the bookstore to see some book, right, to read some book. So that means you go to one, uh, you you go to main you go to uh, for the main job the main work but at the same time you also have the sub sub verb right and in the case like you can use si de ni which means you to go to shopping at the main job but on the way you go to the uh, shopping you also go to the bookstore. 
So in Japanese, you can use the gamma C Deni to help explain the situation like this. And in this case, they use the now, so we put no according to the grammar, so it's correct. So when you translate to Japanese English, we can say, I stop by a bookstore while shopping. Let's go to see the next example. Shigoto e iku tsuide ni eki made okute ageru yo. Shigoto e iku tsuide ni eki made okute ageru yo. Which means that I will give you a lift to the station on my way to work. I will give you a lift to the station on my way to work. So what they use uh, about the grammar in this sentence? Let's see together. In here, we see that they use the verb. In here, our verb is ik. And ik is the verb in the dictionary form. And it has the meaning that go to or go someplace. In here, they say shigoto e ik, which means you go to work. Right. So when you use the gamma ni with the verb in a dictionary form, you don't need to change anything. And it's correct when we compare to the grammar do. Because the grammar do uh, mentioned that when you use ni, you can use it with a uh, verb in the dictionary form and the past tense form. So in this case, they use with a uh, verb in the dictionary form. I see here, so it's correct. So when you use the grammar of Zedeni, what you should focus is about you use with the verb in the dictionary form or in the dark form. You cannot use with the uh, adjective, including non adjective or uh, adjective. So when you uh, use, as you see here, we can say in the full sentence line, Shigoto e iku tsuide ni eki made okute ageru yo. Which means that I will give you a lift to the station on my way to work. That means when you go to work, your main job is going to work. But when you go to work in the same that time, you also take another body to the station too. So, to explain the situation like this, you can use ZDNI as you see here. Next, the next sample is say, Deru de kakeru no sole nara ZDNI. Gomi o dashite kureru. Te kakeru no. Sore nara tsuide ni. Gomi o dashite kureru. Which means that are you heading out? If so, could you please also take out the cabbage when you go? Are you heading out? If so. Could you please also take out the cabbage when you go? Let's consider the grammar in this sentence. In here we have sole nara. Sole nara is mean in the now and it had a meaning that if so. So in, in this case, we used a uh, the now but we don't use no between z de ni but uh, sometimes we can use no between the z de ni right so just a bit depend to the case by case and this sentence is meaning that are you heading out if so could you please also take out the cabbage when you go 
So the mean that you your job is you are going out, but it's not take the cabbage to uh, outside. But uh, somebody want you to help them to take the cabbage to the outside when you go out. So in the case like you can say, see the ni gomio das te kredu, which means that please take uh, the cabbage out when you go out. And uh, that is uh, when you use the grammar of see the ni to help explain you do the main job. At the same time, you also have a sub job. The next example is that Sampo no zide ni kono te kami o dashite kuremasen ka? Sampo no zide ni kono te kami o dashite kuremasen ka? Which means that since you are going for a walk, could you please mail this letter for me? Since you are going for a walk, could you please mail this letter for me? In this same time, you see that we use uh, the grammar of Zedeni with, well, uh, with the now, and in here, our now is Sampo. Sampo is mean walking or go for walk. So, your main job is go for walk, but at the same time, somebody needs you to uh, email the letter to them too. So I hope that you understand about how to use the grammar of sample, no? uh, the grammar of uh, Zdeni. Zdeni you can use to help explain when you have to do the main job, but at the same time, you some another body also need you to do the sub job. That is not the main. That means you do some two things at the same time. The next we are going to learn about the grammar of Sumali. The grammar of Sumali is meaning that in other words, in summary, in short. In Japanese, when you use the grammar of Sumali, that means you should begin by some cross. After that, followed by simile, and the end followed by alternative explanation. And it had the meaning that in other words, or in summary, or in short. That means you have something really long, and it's not easy to understand, and you should explain in the short way. In a case like this, in Japanese, they use the grammar of simile to help explain in the short way. So to make more understand about how to use the grammar of simile, let's go to see some example together. In here, our example they say, Kare wa jui dobutsu no Isha this. Kare wa jui tsumari dobutsu no Isha this. Which means that he is a veterinarian. In other words, he's an animal doctor. He's a veterinarian. In other words, He's an animal doctor. Or you can say he is a veterinarian. In the short way to say, in short or summary, he's an animal doctor. So what is about the grammar in this sentence? Let's go to see together. In here we have Kalewa Jui is the cross. And after that, that, we also have Dobutsu no Isha this Dobutsu no Isha this means alternative explanation. That means 
If you just say Kalevan Juyi, that means somebody don't understand what do you mean. Or what is the Juyi mean? So to explain more to understand about Juyi, you can use Smiley. And after Smiley, you should put the another way to explain the Juyi meaning I see here. After Smiley, they say Dobutsu no Ishatis. That means you will understand. They say the easy word to understand. And it had a meaning that he is a veterinarian. In other words, he is an animal doctor. The next, we have the example like this. Smiley, uchi no kakko no seito da to yukoto. Smiley, uchi no kakko no seito da to yukoto. Which means that you mean you are a student at my school? You mean you are a student at my school? What is about the grammar in this? In this, we have Uchi no kakko no seito da toikoto It means It's an alternative explanation If you see here, we don't have the clause because they cut out from the some conversation right in the sentence so when you are uh, to explain more to understand you just use simile and after that simile you should uh, explain in another way which is not the same way and to make uh, more understand for the person you are talking with so in this sentence, it had a mean meaning that you means you are a student at my school. The next we are going to learn about uh, this example. Beatles, Beatles, san wa keitai mo pasukon mo motte imasen. Tsumari, mailu de renaku wa dekimasen. Beatles, san wa keitai mo pasukon mo motte imasen. Smiley, mail de lenlaku wa dekimasen, which means that Bill does not have a cell phone or computer. In another words, we cannot contact him by email. Bill does not have a cell phone or computer. In another words, we cannot contact him by email. So, are you seeing here the first? They explain something. About like, tai mo pasukon mo motemasen. Or they, after that, they use the simile to explain in another way. That is not the same way. To make more understand, they say, simile me lu de tenaku wa dekimasen. Something like this. If you don't have cell phone or you don't have a computer, so in the case like you cannot contact by. Uh, you cannot uh, send email or another cannot send email to you. The next example is say, Kale wa kyo kara ishukan go, tsumari, juni katsu toka ni kaite kuru. Kale wa kyo kara ishukan go, tsumari, juni katsu toka ni kaite kure, kaite kuru. Which means that he will be back on a week from today, that is on December 10. He will be back a week from today, it is on December 10. If you just say, Kare wa kyo kara ishukan go, that means he will be back a week from today. If you just say like it, maybe another body don't understand. So you can say the date to tell what day. If you say the date, they will understand when. So in this example, after the simile, they say about the date. As you see here, June Toka ni kaite kuru. The next we are going to learn about the grammar of tsumori da ta. The grammar of tsumori data is meaning that 
I thought that dot 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 I have I believe dot dot was planning to was intending to are you seeing here that means you thought you will do something or you was you were planning to do something or you intending to do something in Japanese they use the grammar of small data which means it's in the past ten form so in Japanese when do you use uh, the grammar of small data you have the structure like this that means you can use with the verb and the noun only but when you use the verb you should use the verb in the daily form and the dark form which means is in the past tense form and when you use the noun you should put no after the noun and after that you can follow by smoothly data but as you see here sometimes you can say smoothly nano ni or smoothly data it just has the same meaning that i thought i i believe i was planning to, was intending to, dot, 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 something. And you see here. So don't be confused when you, when you meet, uh, when you see uh, the grammar of Tsumuli Data or Tsumuli Nanoni, it just has the same meaning. And what you have to remember, you can use the verb and noun only. In the verb, we have two cases, they either form and that form. The next, we are going to see some examples to make more understand about how to use the grammar of Tsumuri Data or Tsumuri Nanoni. In here, our example is say, Ita Tsumuri Data. Ita Tsumuri Data. Which means, I thought I say it. I thought I say it. What is about the grammar in here? We have ita. Ita is mean the verb in the past tense form, and it has the meaning that say or talk. If in the past tense we can say it has the meaning that say or talk, which means somebody already talked uh, that story to you. Ita tsumuri data, which means uh, talk to another body when you you talk to another body you already talk to another body and uh, if we translate to be the full sentence we can say I thought I said it which means that you talk the story to another body you already talk is in the past tense form but maybe somebody don't know don't remember what you talk in the past so you can say ita tsumuri data which means that I thought I said it the next example is say watashi wa sono meiru o ukutta tsumuri data watashi wa sono meiru o ukutta tsumuri data which means that I'm sure I sent the email I am sure I sent that email. So what is about the grammar in here? We have okuta. Okuta is mean in the verb in the past tense form. So it's correct when we compare to the grammar root. When we use when we use uh, with the grammar of smoothly data you should change the verb to be the past tense form or the iri form and it has the meaning that same send something to another body and uh, when you use the, the grammar of smoothly data that means you already send the email to another body but maybe he or she was not confirmed or not yet to haven't 
Now you have to confirm the email so they ask you back. And you can say, Okutatsumori datta RGC in the case like this. And even you translate to be the full sentence, you can say, I'm sure I send that email. When you talk with another party and you talk about uh, sending email to each other, maybe sometimes another party wants to say back, you, you uh, didn't send the email to me. But when you want to confirm back that you and when you are sure about that you already did it. So in case that you can say Okuta tsumuri datta which means that you already sent the email. The next we are going to see uh, this sample is say Kohi o chumon shita tsumuri datta Kohi o chumon shita tsumuri datta which means that I'm sure I ordered a coffee. I'm sure I ordered a coffee. In here, our verb is chumong shita. It's in the past tense form. And it's the in the dark form. So, it is correct when we to compare the grammar rule of smoli data. And it, this sentence is mean that you are uh, Pay attention, the intention to, your worst intention to uh, order the coffee. But sometimes you go to the uh, restaurant and the person in the restaurant will ask you back that uh, what did you order. So in the case that you can say, which means that you already ordered the coffee. The next sample is say, Sole wa yoyaku shita tsumuri datta. Sole wa yoyaku shita tsumuri datta. Which means that I thought I had made the reservation. I thought I had made the reservation. In here, our verb is yoyaku shita. Is in the past tense form or is in the uh, that form. So, in the case that you can use with the tsumuri data, and then you use yoyaku shita tsumuri data, this means you already made the uh, reservation. But sometimes you go to the hotel and you check in, right? Maybe uh, the person in the hotel also will tell you that. Uh, have you made the the reservation yet or not right so in the situation like this you can answer back like in Japanese way yoyaku shita tsumuri datta which means that you already made the reservation and no problem so i hope that you understand about how to use the grammar of tsumuri datta you can use the tsumuri datta in the case uh, with the verb and now only. When you use the verb, you what you should to remember what you should remember is you can use with a daily form or that form. And you can use with the now only. And it had a meaning that you already done something. Thank you very much for watching my video clip. And please help me subscribe my channel if you haven't. I hope to see you about learning Japanese in the next video clip. Arigatou gozaimashita.